Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 Words eBook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Portuguese eBook before it's gone. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Polish. Hi everyone, my name is Łukasz. Welcome to the 800 core Polish words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Polish. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in the series, you include the previous lesson at the end. So after you learn the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at polishpod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Polish. Ok, let's get started. First is... Cześć! Hello! Cześć! Cześć! Hello! Cześć! Mam na imię Anna. Hello, my name is Anna. Cześć! Mam na imię Anna. Przepraszam. Excuse me. Przepraszam. Prze Pra sham. Excuse me. Przepraszam, gdzie jest dworzec? Excuse me, where is the train station? Przepraszam, gdzie jest dworzec? Przepraszam. I'm sorry. Przepraszam. Przepraszam. I'm sorry. Przepraszam, nie rozumiem. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Przepraszam, nie rozumiem. Dobranoc. Good night. Dobranoc. Do Bra noc. Good night. Dobranoc panu. Good night, sir. Dobranoc panu. Miło mi cię poznać. Nice to meet you. Miło mi cię poznać. Miło mi. Cię poznać. Nice to meet you. Miło mi poznać pana. Nice to meet you, sir. Miło mi poznać pana. Jak się masz? How are you? Jak się masz? Jak się masz? How are you? Cześć, jak się masz? Hi, how are you? Cześć, jak się masz? Tak. Yes. Tak. Tak. Yes. Tak, mam motorolę. Yes, I have Motorola. Tak, mam Motorola. Nie. No. Nie. Nie. No. Nie, dziękuję. No, thank you. Nie, dziękuję. Dziękuję. 
Thank you. Dziękuję. Dziękuję. Thank you. Dziękuję, ale ja tego nie zamawiałem. Thank you, but I didn't order this. Dziękuję, ale ja tego nie zamawiałem. Jestem. I am. Jestem. Jestem. I am. Jestem Tomek. I am Tomek. Jestem Tomek. Do widzenia. Goodbye. Do widzenia. Goodbye. Do widzenia pani. Goodbye, ma'am. Do widzenia pani. Zły. Bad. Zły. Zły. Bad. On jest złym chłopakiem. He is a bad boy. On jest złym chłopakiem. Dobry. Good. Dobry. Dobry. Good. Mój nauczyciel jest dobrym człowiekiem. My teacher is a good person. Mój nauczyciel jest dobrym człowiekiem. Ładny. Pretty. Ładny. Ładny. Pretty. Ona jest bardzo ładna. She is very pretty. Ona jest bardzo ładna. Brzydki. Ugly. Brzydki. Brzydki. Ugly. To jest bardzo brzydki pies. That is a very ugly dog. To jest bardzo brzydki pies. Łatwy. Easy. Łatwy. Łatwy. Easy. Ich nowy produkt jest naprawdę elegancki i łatwy w użyciu. Their new product is really elegant and easy to use. Ich nowy produkt jest naprawdę elegancki i łatwy w użyciu. Trudny. Difficult. Trudny. Trudny. Difficult. Angielski jest trudny. English is difficult. Angielski jest trudny. Blisko. Near. Blisko. Blisko. Near. Mieszkam blisko uniwersytetu. I live near the university. Mieszkam blisko 
uniwersytetu. Daleko. Far. Daleko. Da. Le. Ko. Far. Stacja jest daleko stąd. The station is far from here. Stacja jest daleko stąd. Mały. Small. Mały. Mały. Small. Bardzo mały. Very small. Bardzo mały. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary to learn 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at polishpod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentence, custom flashcard decks and more learning resources. See you next time. Do widzenia. Can learning a new language help you make money? In this video, you'll learn three ways that learning a language can help increase your income. So, if you know a language other than your native language, does it help you earn more money? Learning a new language provides a wide range of benefits, including personal growth, higher cognitive function, better resistance to age-related deterioration, and the opportunity to meet exciting new people from all over the world. But that's not all. It's possible that learning a foreign language can help you to earn more money throughout your life. Studies have shown that someone making $30,000 annually could boost their salary by at least $600 per year through applying their knowledge of another language. Over the course of a lifetime, that could add up to a significant contribution to your retirement savings or overall earnings. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get free language learning courses and tools that you can use for your studies with the aim of boosting your income. One day, the extra money could possibly help you buy a new Ferrari, vacation home, or save more money for retirement. But first, let's look at a few ways you can make money with a second language. The first method is by exploring bilingual or multilingual job opportunities. With the rise of multinational corporations doing business all around the globe, the need for bilingual or even multilingual employees has never been higher. Therefore, knowing a second language can be extremely valuable. Having a second language as part of your skill set could help you make significantly more money than if you're fluent in just one language. So, in a very real way, learning a language online, even for free, can alter your career and earnings trajectory for the better, and it can help put you on the path towards the lifestyle you want. The second method is by exploring work you can do from home in your second language. It's possible to use your knowledge of a second language to work from home. There are many websites that have hundreds of paying translation jobs at any given time. Although the pay may vary significantly between jobs, and you probably won't actually become rich from such work, translation jobs can boost your salary and improve your lifestyle. And translation jobs aren't the only way to make money online from home. There are actually a wide range of opportunities out there for people to boost their income using their knowledge of a second language. These include copywriting, administrative work, and even multilingual IT jobs. The third method is by working overseas. If you love adventure or want to travel the world, you can put your language knowledge to use by taking advantage of bilingual or multilingual opportunities overseas. Put what you've learned to work in the real world. Combine your second language skills with the other skills you have and offer something special to employers. To start, think about a country where you might like to live someday and begin your language studies with the language spoken in that country. With diligent work, you can master a language and secure a position with an overseas company. These are just a few of the ways you can put your knowledge of another language to use and make some extra money with your skills. Over time, this added income can make a huge difference in your life. Our language learning program provides a number of free language learning tools and resources as part of our free lifetime account. You can use these to get started with your language learning and begin working toward boosting your income throughout your life. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. 
If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Polish. Hi everyone, my name is Łukasz. Welcome to the 800 core Polish words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Polish. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in the series, you include the previous lesson at the end. So after you learn the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at polishpod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Polish. Ok, let's get started. First is... Dziś. Today. Dziś. Dziś. Today. Dziś o 6.15. Today at 6.15. Dziś o 6.15. Wczoraj. Yesterday. Wczoraj. Wczoraj. Yesterday. Wczoraj wzięłam wolne. I took a day off yesterday. Wczoraj wzięłam wolne. Jutro. Tomorrow. Jutro. Jutro. Tomorrow. Jutro będzie słonecznie. It will be sunny tomorrow. Jutro będzie słonecznie. Tydzień. Week. Tydzień. Tydzień. Week. W każdym tygodniu jest siedem dni. There are seven days in every week. W każdym tygodniu jest siedem dni. Rok. Year. Rok. Rok. Year. Rok przestępny. Leap year. Rok przestępny. Sekunda. Second. Sekunda. Se kun da. Second. Przez dziesięć sekund. For ten seconds. Przez dziesięć sekund. Minuta. Minute. Minuta. Minuta. Minute. Za minutę północ. It's one minute to midnight. Za minutę północ. Godzina. Hour. Godzina. Go. Gi. Na. Hour. Wrócę z pracy do domu za godzinę. I will be home from work an hour. Wrócę z pracy do domu 
za godzinę. Zegar. Clock. Zegar. Zegar. Clock. Zegar ścienny wisi na ścianie. The wall clock is hanging on the wall. Zegar ścienny wisi na ścianie. Godzina. A clock. Godzina. Godzina. O clock. Godzina dwunasta. Twelve o'clock. Godzina dwunasta. Kalendarz. Kalendar. Kalendarz. Ka. Lendarz. Kalendar. Zapisz w kalendarzu plany na piątek. Write the plans for Friday on the calendar. Zapisz w kalendarzu plany na piątek. Poniedziałek. Monday. Poniedziałek. Po nie dzia łek. Monday. Tydzień pracy zaczyna się w poniedziałek. The work week starts on Monday. Tydzień pracy zaczyna się w Poniedziałek. Wtorek. Tuesday. Wtorek. Wtorek. Tuesday. W tym roku 1 stycznia wypada we wtorek. January 1st falls on Tuesday this year. W tym roku, 1 stycznia, wypada we wtorek. Środa. Wednesday. Środa. Środa. Wednesday. W środy wieczorem gramy w pokera u mnie w domu. Wednesday nights we play poker at my house. W środy wieczorem gramy w pokera u mnie w domu. Czwartek. Thursday. Czwartek. Czwartek. Thursday. Czwartek, 3 stycznia. Thursday, January 3rd. Czwartek, 3 stycznia. Piątek. Friday. Piątek. Piątek. Friday. W piątek często je się ryby. On Friday people often eat fish. W piątek często je się ryby. Sobota. Saturday. Sobota. Sobota. Saturday. Żadnych planów na sobotę. No plans for Saturday. Żadnych planów na 
sobotę. Niedziela. Sunday. Niedziela. Nie dziela. Sunday. W niedzielę jest dzień ojca. Sunday is Father's Day. W niedzielę jest dzień ojca. Robić. Do. Robić. Robić. Do. Mam tyle do zrobienia. I have so much work to do. Mam tyle do zrobienia. Iść. Go. Iść. Iść. Go. Iść do parku. Go to the park. Iść do parku. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary to learn 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at polishpod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentence, custom flashcard decks and more learning resources. See you next time! Do widzenia! Today, traditional classrooms are no longer the only or even best place to learn a new language. More and more people are finding that they can easily learn a language just about anywhere they have a few minutes of spare time, including their daily commute to work. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the average American spends over 50 minutes a day commuting to and from work, or over 300 hours a year. But rather than simply sitting in traffic and wasting the time, you can instead use your daily commute to literally learn a new language in just a few short months. Our language learning program has specialized learning tools that you can use on your commute to and from the office to master a language in your spare time. What are some reasons traditional classroom settings just aren't the best option for most people in today's fast-paced world? Difficulty getting to and from class. Learning on someone else's schedule very expensive and may cost thousands of dollars to complete, can take years to finally complete classes and learn the language. The simple truth is the traditional classroom instruction is simply not a viable option for most people in today's very fast-paced, time-starved world. Now, let's examine how you can learn a language faster, more easily, and at far less expense than traditional classes, all during your commute to work and back home again. Three reasons your daily commute can help you master a language in the next year. On average, Americans spend more than 300 hours per year commuting. During the commute to and from work, over six hours a week is completely wasted. The time isn't used to help you reach any goals or objectives. But thanks to online language learning platforms with audiobooks and other resources that you can access during your commute, you can easily transform wasted time into progress toward learning a new language. With over 300 hours available annually, your daily commute could provide you with enough time to gain significant skills in a new language each and every year. Increase your earning potential while commuting to work. How would you like to transform all those spare commuting hours each week into more money for a new car, house, or even a dream vacation? According to research, someone making $30,000 per year can boost their annual income by $600 or more per year by learning a second language. Over the course of a lifetime, that's a significant amount. How? From work-at-home translation jobs to working overseas, there are many ways to leverage your second language into more money in your bank account. So instead of wasting your precious time, you can make your commute more productive and eventually profitable. The more languages you learn, the higher your income potential. Repetition is key to mastering a new language. Not sure if it's practical to learn another language while commuting to and from work each day? Well, not only is it possible, learning in your car on the way to and from work each day can actually help you learn and master any language quickly. 
The simple truth is that repetition is absolutely vital to truly internalizing and mastering any language. So, if you listen to audiobooks or even audio lessons on your commute to work, and then repeat the same lesson on your commute home, the information is more likely to be locked in to your long-term memory. Our language learning program has been helping people learn and master language in the comfort of their home, during their daily commute, or any place they have a few spare minutes of time. Here are five features of our program that make it easy to learn a new language while commuting to and from work. First, the largest collection of audio lessons on the planet by native speaker instructors. Every single week, native speaker instructors create new audio lessons. All lessons are short, to the point, and guaranteed to improve your mastery of a language. Second, the word of the day. Simply exposing yourself to new information and vocabulary terms helps increase your fluency and mastery of your target language. So every single day, check out the word of the day and memorize it during your commute. It's a quick and easy way to boost your vocabulary every day. Third, daily dose mini lessons. Have a short commute to work, but still want to make progress towards learning more than just vocabulary? Not a problem. Our daily dose mini lessons are one minute or less and are designed to improve your grammar, conversations, and pronunciation. Fourth, all content is available on a convenient mobile app. You don't need a PC or tablet to learn during your daily commute. Instead, all of our lessons, tools, and resources are available 24-7 via our mobile app. That means you can access all of our audio lessons and other tools during your commute to work or anytime you have a few spare minutes. Fifth, audiobooks and other supplemental resources. In addition to the world's largest online collection of HD audio lessons, our language learning program has audiobooks to enhance your understanding and make it more convenient than ever to learn a language during your commute. The average commute time of most Americans is over 300 hours each year, and it's the perfect opportunity to learn and master a new language. Use the dead time during your daily commute to learn a new language and potentially boost your lifetime earnings. Whatever your motivation, our language learning program has the tools and resources necessary to help you learn a new language each year during your commute to and from work. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Polish. Hi everyone, my name is Łukasz. Welcome to the 800 core Polish words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Polish. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in the series, you include the previous lesson at the end. So after you learn the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at polishpod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Polish. Ok, let's get started. First is... Moods Can Moods. Moods. Can. Mogę jeść pikantne potrawy. I can eat spicy food. Mogę jeść pikantne potrawy. Zero. 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 Dziś jest około zera stopni. It's about zero degrees today. Dziś jest około zera stopni. Jeden. One. Jeden. Jeden. 
kłam. Jeden stopień. One degree. Jeden stopień. Dwa. Tu. Dwa. Dwa. Tu. Dwa to moja ulubiona liczba. The number two is my favorite number. Dwa to moja ulubiona liczba. Trzy. Three. Trzy. Trzy. Three. Pierwsza grupa przyjechała autobusem numer 3. The first group arrived on the bus number 3. Pierwsza grupa przyjechała autobusem numer 3. 4. 4. 4. Cztery. Four. Czteropasmowa droga szybkiego ruchu. Four lane motorway. Czteropasmowa droga szybkiego ruchu. Pięć. Five. Pięć. Pięć. Five. Rozgwiazda ma pięć ramion. The starfish have five legs. Rozgwiazda ma pięć ramion. Sześć. Six. Sześć. Sześć. Six. Sześć rzeczy. Six things. Sześć rzeczy. Siedem. Seven. Siedem. Siedem. Seven. Liczba siedem. Number seven. Liczba siedem. Osiem. Eight. Osiem. Osiem. Eight. Powinieneś spać przynajmniej osiem godzin dziennie. You should sleep at least eight hours every night. Powinieneś spać przynajmniej osiem godzin dziennie. Dziewięć. Nine. Dziewięć. Dziewięć. Dziewięćdziesiąt dziewięć procent. Ninety nine procent. Dziewięćdziesiąt dziewięć procent. Dziesięć. Ten. Dziesięć. Dziesięć. Ten. Potrafię policzyć od jednego do dziesięciu po chińsku. I can count from one to ten in Chinese. Potrafię policzyć od jednego do dziewięciu po 
chińsku. Sprzedawca. Salesman. Sprzedawca. Sprzedawca. Salesman. Sprzedawca wita klienta. The salesman is greeting a customer. Sprzedawca wita klienta. Manager. 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 Manager fabryki wydaje polecenia. The factory manager is giving instructions. Manager fabryki wydaje polecenia. Kucharz. Cook. Kucharz. Kucharz. Cook. Ona jest kucharką w czterogwiazdkowej restauracji. She is a cook at the four star restaurant. Ona jest kucharką w czterogwiazdkowej restauracji. Inżynier. 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 Dobry inżynier potrafi projektować i budować systemy. A good engineer can design and build systems. Dobry inżynier potrafi projektować i budować systemy. Programista. Programmer. Programista. Programista. Programmer. Jestem programistą. I'm a programmer. Jestem programistą. Pielęgniarka. Nurse. Pielęgniarka. Pielęgniarka. Nurse. Ta kobieta jest pielęgniarką. The woman is a nurse. Ta kobieta jest pielęgniarką. Ciało. Body. Ciało. Ciało. Body. Jedzenie jest paliwem dla ciała. Food is fuel for the body. Jedzenie jest paliwem dla ciała. Głowa. Head. Głowa. Głowa. Head. Załóż kask, żeby chronić głowę. Wear a helmet to protect your head. Załóż kask, żeby chronić głowę. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary to learn 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at polishpod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentence, custom flashcard decks and more learning resources. See you next time! Do widzenia!
What are the best ways to learn a language on the go? You might be surprised to find there are lots of moments throughout the day we can transform into language learning opportunities. These might be on your commute, during an exercise session, or even just when you're trying to kill some time. In this video, we'll introduce you to three tips for learning on the go. Number one, how to learn a language on the go. Many of us are probably used to studying when we have time to sit down and concentrate. We take out textbooks and notepads and prepare to focus our attention for an hour or so, like in a classroom. It might be hard to think of studying in other settings, like when you're sitting on a bus or are stuck in traffic, but there are still things you can do, even if your hands are full. For example, think about your commute. How much time do you spend traveling to and from work, school, or other activities throughout the week? If you have a one-hour commute every day, that's a lot of time you could be spending working on your language skills. Even if you're not ready to devote your whole commute to study, a little bit every day will help. But how do you study in environments like these? By changing the way you approach your learning. These days, many people now have a computer right in their pocket. Smartphones make it easy to access many different kinds of study materials. Depending on our needs and the time we have available, we can watch YouTube videos, listen to podcasts, study vocabulary, review infographics, and more. There are many different ways to build our language skills, and we can choose study methods that work for our schedules, our personalities, and our goals. There are a lot of different methods to consider. So in part two, we're going to share a few ideas to help you get started. Number two, five easy ways to learn a language on the go. If you're standing on a crowded train, you can't pull out a book or do workbook problems. If you're exercising, it's probably impossible to review textbooks or take notes. If you're driving, you need to make sure you're watching the road. So how do you transform times like these into study opportunities? Situations like these are great for audio and video lessons. We have huge libraries of both, so you can choose whichever is best for you. All you need to study is a smartphone, a lesson, and a pair of earphones. Just press play and watch a video or listen to an audio lesson, like you would with music. During your commute or exercise session, you'll hear a simple conversation focused on a specific goal, like introducing yourself or ordering food. Then, our teachers will explain the words and phrases. In just a few minutes, you'll be working on mastering an entire conversation. Our second study method suggestion is our app, Innovative Language 101. You can download it for free for the iPhone, iPad, and Android. This will allow you to take your lessons with you wherever you go. Study idea three is for those of you who want something super quick and easy. You can use it to kick off your studies each day. It's our word of the day email. Every day, you get an email with a new word, example sentences, audio, and a picture to help make it stick in your mind. If you check your email during your commute, you can also check the word of the day. Our last two study method ideas are about tools that can help you remember what you study. First is our vocab slideshow tool. This study tool is available on all vocab lists and lessons. Just press play and listen to words and phrases one by one. You can even set the slideshow on a loop and listen to the words over and over. Finally, our last suggestion is our smart flashcards. These flashcards use spaced repetition to help you study and remember words, and the cards are mobile friendly. The cards remember your progress and quiz you on words at the right times. This helps ensure you don't forget the things you study. To access these, visit the site on your phone and find the flashcards in the vocabulary menu. Swipe through as you study. Our system will remember your progress. If you get a word wrong, you'll see it more often. The flashcards know to quiz you again and again until you remember that word. Number three, be consistent. If you can find new ways to use your time and work towards your language goals, great. But remember to be consistent. Using all or even part of your commute or your downtime to study can be a fantastic way to make progress, but you need to make sure to do it regularly. Try to build a habit of starting a video lesson as soon as your commute begins, or pressing play on an audio lesson as soon as you begin a jog. Creating these habits will help you stick with your study methods long-term and will lead to greater progress. For the tools we've talked about in this video and much more, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! In this video, you will learn 20 of most common words and phrases in Polish. Hi everyone, my name is Łukasz. 
Welcome to the 800 core Polish words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Polish. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in the series, we include the previous lesson at the end. So after you learn the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at polishpot101.com. Click the link in the description. To access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Polish. Ok, let's get started. First is... Dłoń Hand Dłoń Dłoń Hand Rękawiczki nie pasowały na jego dłonie. The gloves did not fit his hands. Rękawiczki nie pasowały na jego dłonie. Ręka. Arm. Ręka. Ręka. Arm. Muskularna ręka. Muscular arm. Muskularna ręka. Stopa. Foot. Stopa. Stopa. Foot. Lewa stopa. Left foot. Lewa stopa. Noga. Leg. Noga. Noga. Leg. Długie nogi. Long legs. Długie nogi. Palec. Finger. Palec. Palec. Finger. Palec mi krwawi. My fingers bleeding. Palec mi krwawi. Plecy. Back. Plecy. Plecy. Back. Plecy jeża są pokryte ostrymi igłami. A hedgehog back is covered in sharp spines. Plecy jeża są pokryte ostrymi igłami. Żołądek. Stomach. Żołądek. Żołądek. Stomach. Żołądek mnie boli. I have a stomach ache. Żołądek mnie boli. Klatka piersiowa. Chest. Klatka piersiowa. Klatka piersiowa. Chest. Rentgen klatki piersiowej. X-ray of a chest. Rentgen klatki piersiowej. Styczeń. January. Styczeń. Styczeń. January. Tutaj w styczniu jest bardzo zimno. It's very cold here in January. Tutaj w styczniu jest 
bardzo zimno. Luty. February. Luty. Luty. February. Luty jest najkrótszym miesiącem i ma 28 dni. February is the shortest month with 28 days. Luty jest najkrótszym miesiącem i ma 28 dni. Marzec. March. Marzec. Marzec. March. Teraz jest kwiecień, więc poprzednim miesiącem był marzec. It's now April, so last month was March. Teraz jest kwiecień, więc poprzednim miesiącem był marzec. Kwiecień. April. Kwiecień. Kwiecień. April. Kwietniowe deszcze przynoszą kwiaty w maju. April showers bring May flowers. Kwietniowe deszcze przynoszą kwiaty w maju. Maj. May. Maj. 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 31 maja to Światowy Dzień bez papierosa. May 31 is World No Smoking Day. 31. Maja to Światowy Dzień bez papierosa. Czerwiec. June. Czerwiec. Czerwiec. June. Pobieramy się w czerwcu. We are getting married in June. Pobieramy się w czerwcu. Lipiec. July. Lipiec. Lipiec. July. Nazwa miesiąca lipiec Pochodzi od imienia Juliusza Cezara, który urodził się w lipcu. July is named from Julius Caesar, who was born in July. Nazwa miesiąca lipiec pochodzi od imienia Juliusza Cezara, który Urodził się w lipcu. Sierpień. August. Sierpień. Sierpień. August. Szkoła jest zamknięta w sierpniu. The school is closed in August. Szkoła jest Zamknięta w sierpniu. Wrzesień. September. Wrzesień. Wrzesień. September. Dziś jest sobota, 10 września. Today is Saturday, September 10th. Dziś jest sobota, 10 września. 
Październik. Oktober. Październik. Październik. Oktober. 13 października. On October 13th. 13 października. Listopad. November. Listopad. Listopad. November. Listopad jest jednym z czterech miesięcy, które mają 30 dni. November is one of the four months with 30 days. Listopad jest jednym z czterech miesięcy, które mają 30 dni. Grudzień. December. Grudzień. Grudzień. December. 25 grudnia. December 25. 25 grudnia. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary for learning 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at polishpod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentence, custom flashcard decks and more learning resources. See you next time! Do widzenia! Expand your vocabulary with our Core 2000 Words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Polish ebook before it's gone.